Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the fourth grade concept of addition and subtraction and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we've been adding for multiple years now. We've even seen decimals before in the form of money in third grade. But really what we're looking for in fourth grade is kind of the final step in adding and subtracting decimals. And we're going to look at what happens when you are trying to, we'll start with addition, add numbers that do not all go to the same decimal place. So right now you've got three different numbers on the screen, three and four tenths, 42 and 48 hundredths, and 97. The key is to always line up the decimal. And what's going to happen is you're going to have some digits kind of sticking out, hanging out in space, and that's perfectly fine. So we're going to use this 3.4. So I'm just going to line up the 42.8. So what that means is that 42.48, excuse me, is going to line up right there. Because you see, here's my ones place. And this is my tenths place. And then this is my hundredths place right here. And so even though there is an 8 in the hundredths place sticking out all by itself, there's a 4 in the tens place sticking out all by itself, that's perfectly fine. The biggest problem now is going to be, what do we do with this 97? Where do we put 97? Well, let's look at it. This is the ones place, and this is the tens place. So we know where the ones and tens are. The ones and tens are right here. So if you are ever stuck with adding or subtracting a number and you don't see a decimal, you can always put a decimal after the ones place. So if we want to add all these up, all we have to do is have it look like this. Now, if we want, we can add some zeros here. You can always add zeros after the decimal. That's going to make, uh, make it a little bit easier to look at, and it's not going to change the value at all. So now we've got 0 and 8 and 0. This is just regular addition. Now make sure your decimal comes right there. So now you've got an 8 right there. And now you've got 12. We're going to regroup this, and that's going to be 142 and 88 hundredths. So when you're adding decimals, make sure you always line up the decimal. Let's see what happens when we try to subtract decimals. So we'll start with a simpler one. Let's say it's 32 and 3 tenths minus 3 and 23 hundredths. Well, obviously, you would never try to subtract anything side by side. So let's see if we can make it vertical. And once again, we're going to line up the decimal. I'm going to use the 32 and 3 tenths that's up on the top. So this 3 is in the ones place, and that's my ones place right there. So I'm going to put a 3. This 2 is in the tenths. There's my tenths right there. So now I've got a 3 in the hundredths place. I can get rid of that. And it's kind of just hanging out there. This is your biggest problem, is you have to put a 0 here. Remember, like we did when we were doing the addition, you can change the 3 tenths into 30 hundredths. Because now, this is something we know how to do. We know that we have to regroup from the 3 tenths, make it 2 tenths, and then break that up into 10 hundredths. If you don't do that, if you just do something like this, if you just try to do 32 and 3 tenths minus 3.23, a common mistake I see is that you would just say 0 minus 3, well that's just 3. But that's incorrect. Because you have to put a zero there. If you put a zero there, well, now we know that we have to regroup, and it's going to be seven. So everything else kind of works itself out. It's just the same as regular subtraction. You just have to make sure that you are putting that zero in that hundredths place so you can subtract three from the zero, and that forces you to regroup. So let's look at one final one uh, 97 minus uh, 42 and 68 hundredths. Well, just like last time, we are going to line up the decimal, and we don't have a decimal. So remember, you can always put a decimal after the hundredths place. I'm going to write it like this. So 42 and 68 hundredths. But please, please, please put zeros here. You can put zeros right there, and now we can subtract. Now it's going to be subtracting across zeros. So this 1 is going to be broken up into 10 tenths. I'm going to take one of those tenths, leave 9, break it up into 10 hundredths. Now, I could do this. That's going to be 3, and that's 4, and that's 5. 